Hey, sneak on his back. Yeah. If I destroy for a giant. This is Fat Dog 64. Yeah, as you can see by the Fat Dog. Now, I have changed the desktop wallpaper. The standard one was a bit too green for me. So I've changed this to this one. Now, Fat Dog is sort of puppy, but not. But we're going to call it puppy anyway. But a lot of it's built from Linux from scratch. So if anybody you know about that, you know where I'm coming from. Now, it normally loads into RAM really, really quickly. You can run it from a USB stick. And, most importantly, it will run on modern hardware. Okay, real modern hardware. Yeah, even my card. Okay, so I was pretty happy about that. Mm, super. So, basic desktop, open box, and stuff added, basically. So you have home, web browser, trash, help. Should we click on help? Let's have a look. Now, in Puppy Standard, which I forgot, if you double click, you get two. So frequently asked questions are here. So try try icons, how to connect to the network, Broadcom wireless, install to flash drive, install to flash drive alternative method, UEFI firmware support, yes, I've tried that as well. It does work, okay? It all works. So if you've got a new board, new graphics card, it will boot, no problem whatsoever. But there's some caveats to it. I really liked using it. I really, really did. But afterwards, I'm going to tell you all about it. So we're going to the menu. Oh, by the way, you can just right click the menu if you wanted to, and that comes up anyway. Okay, but I'll go to this menu here. Usual sort of puppy stuff. So you get calibrate your touch screen, because you may have a touch screen on a laptop. Yeah. Fat dog help again. The usual stuff you would normally find under setup is the control panel and the G slapped package manager. Yeah. It's like a bit of a slackware based stuff, isn't it? Okay, a bit of a slacky. So, the other icon down here is direct to the Fat Dog control panel. So, we're going to click on that and we have a little lookage. So, localization, clocks, time zones, set per user time zone, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. Desktop, the event manager, manage your desktop startup programs, default programs, display properties. So, if you're, say, you're screen doesn't come up to the right one that you want it to click on there it will work even in the box okay even in the box wallpaper setter i'll quickly open that one okay so you can choose whatever one you want so there's a few here to choose from but like me most of you will want to go and choose your own although this one's quite good under sound right it comes with also by default okay if you have a usb microphone you may have problems with this okay which is why i'm doing this video in the box because I couldn't get to actually recognize my USB microphone, which was a bit of a bummer. I tried for about half an hour, but it just didn't work. But what I'm going to do on a full hardware installation, I'm going to see if I can get Pulse installed. Okay, Pulse, and it will work automatically, like it does in the latest PUP 751. Yeah, okay, under network, change your host names, back to dial up for when a bomb goes off and you've only got yeah, dial up, you know what I mean? Yeah. System. Package Manager, FSS Manager, yes, create a swap file. We've already got that all out here because it's an install, okay? It is an install. Remember, when you're installing, you will need to use Gparted to make your partitions up, okay? And make sure you get the right sizes. I had a bit of a trouble with that for some reason. I shouldn't have, but I did, okay? Then updates, the Fat Dog System Updater, Update Flash, Update Firefox. I've got Google Chrome already, and you can get the Google Talk plugin if you want to. So what we'll do... We'll see if we can update some any, any packages. So click on OK. It will check for some packages for us. <laughs> Do I want to update them? Mm, no, not really. I'll tell you what, we'll update that one now. Just for a laugh. So we we'll click on OK. And then it's trying to find out. Yes, we got there. Done. We'll click OK. Installing an update. Dum, 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 bum, 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 bum. Okay, click again. That package was done. Okay, so that's the Fat Dog control panel. I'm make, not making this video too long, basically, by the way, because of certain reasons. But anyway, okay, what's in the main stuff? Okay, under utility, Genie's there, and Grandpa, View Noir, PC Scan. It's a bit like a simple scan, really. GTK Menu Plus, and it's scan for more scanning. There's your file system, so you get the Rocks File Manager. Remember, you could, in theory, in theory, install a different file manager. We'll come on to that a bit. Programming, well, Genie's there again. Under graphics, I've installed Blender. Okay. Do you want to see how it works? Okay. Let's open it up. Yes, it does work. 
I mean, I'm not some big for you, so you can see on the screen, Blender 7 2.79 works perfectly, okay? And I tried it and done some stuff with it, so it works fine. Next, under document, you do get the LibreOffice suite as well. Yeah, it makes it a bit of a bigger download, but hey, who cares? And it works. So we go to document writer. Boom. See how quick that is. Nice and quick. If I go to terminal, and I type in htop, and you'll see how much we're using here. Look, 160 meg of RAM processors asleep, basically, at the end of the day. So I'm going to leave that open, and we're going to go through the menu again. Under calculate it, more LibreOffice stuff, a calculator, G calculator, or calculator, as I like to call it, and G measures. New one. Mm, okay. Under personal, Fat Dog 64 Quick Apps. This just, just opens the um, Rocks file manager with, with the links to it at the end of the day. C Monkey address book. Apparently, you're not supposed to use that just yet. Okay. Under network, it's all here, including Puppy Phone and PW Get File Downloader. Yeah. VNC Remote Desktop Viewer, etc., etc., etc. Under internet, Firefox, which is C Monkey. Google Chrome, which I've installed. Should we open it? Let's have a look. Why not? It might take a little while. No, I shouldn't. no here it goes. And we'll go to YouTube, of course. And see how much memory that takes when we open the page up for YouTube. Okay. So open the turn up again. Oh. Okay. So a bit more usage here. Remember, we're playing a video at the same time. We've got a little ad here. It's still only using 420 mega RAM, okay, which is good. Processors, no, it's okay, isn't it, really? Remember, I've got a big screen here, okay? The smaller your screen, if you've got a laptop, the less it will use at the end of the day. So we're going to close that down. Next, multimedia, okay. Some bummers here, unfortunately. Open shot, I'm going to click it and it's going to call me a liar. If I click on open shot, it will try, it will try, it will try. Open shot does not work from the repos unfortunately. So you may have to compile that yourself if you want to. Back to multimedia again. I've installed Audacity. That works. No problem. Now another reason I didn't actually do it from real hardware is the Screencaster app they've got here, which looks very, very similar to some other stuff I've used before. But because of the ELSA, you can't get your sound to record correctly. Well, I can't personally on my USB microphone. Apart from that, the video that comes out of it is fantastic. And when I went to the GSLAP package manager, there's no simple screen recorder, there's no OBS, no, nothing there. Okay, so we'll cancel it. Off we go. But the, the RAM usage is so small, look how small it is. Okay, what else have I installed here? Uh, did I install VLC? I think I might have done. I'll open Audacity up for you, just to show you that it does work. Some stuff that works, and some stuff that don't work at the end of the day. That's all I can tell you, really. So, would I use this over a Puppy 751? Personally, for me, no. Because I'm going to miss all them programs that I need. But if Puppy 751 could get these latest Nuvo drivers on to run on really latest hardware, Pup would be up and running with a lot more people. That's what I'm going to say. But if you want to give it a go, give it a try. Just run it from a USB stick. It'll be super fast, super fantastic. But it's just in little niggles because it's Slackware based. Yeah, so that's the problem. There's not enough in the repos. Yes, I could try and add the bit of stuff, but there's no point at the end of the day. It should come as standard. But they've done a really good job. So I'm not knocking it. I'm not going to give it a 5 out of 5. We're going to give it a 3.99. Sneaky Linux out. Okay, bye bye.